everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking about things that scare me as a kid. Now, if any of you here can see this, so I'm going to read the bell. So, I remember YouTube videos talking about this a couple years ago about childhood trauma and like those type of pieces of media. And I want to talk about some of my own because I was very easily scared when I was younger. Like, I would be basically scared of almost anything. So, there's some tame ones in here, but there's also some really like more intense ones so i kind of wanted to bring that out to my viewers because i know my viewers are a little bit about the same age or a little bit younger than me so this is going to be kind of a little bit more of an intense video for some of these picks so yeah let's get started so the first thing i want to talk about is almost world tornado so i loved like all the sesame street characters and stuff like that but one of my favorite segments of sesame street usually was almost world now I believe this was like the earliest instance of me getting scared by something on a television screen because I remember we had like a VHS tape of like like Emma World's like best moments or something like that and there was a specific scene that scared the crap out of me. Now keep in mind I was like barely talking at all and I believe I was like three or four when I saw this and uh, it's basically what happens is a tornado goes into Elmo's house and I was terrified because I didn't know what tornadoes were back then. I just saw this huge like mass of like wind and stuff like that and, and these eyes on it and it was disturbing back then. Like I really was scared by it. <laughs> One to a tornado. <laughs> kind of like very tame now, but it really did scare me. So that's kind of like my earliest instance of kind of a show that scared me. So yeah. So number two is Ronald McDonald. So in general, like back when I was like five or six, I did not like clowns at all. Like something about like an unfamiliar face with a familiar body, that's what scared me in my opinion. I remember Ronald McDonald uh, would go to the local library that we have near us and he would kind of like read to the kids or something like that or i don't remember exactly what he did but when he went to the library and i was there i was horrified to be honest i don't really blame myself because while i don't think clowns are scary now i am going to the circus soon so that's one thing and this was be starting to be when like he was starting to appear in less places because this was before mcdonald's axed him entirely so the fact that you just see this huge white face and then this red like hair, it just, it was very off-putting and I did not like it. So I think there's been like one or two instances of me having to leave the library because I was screaming my head off. So yeah, that's one thing is that I used to be scared of clowns in general uh, and Ronald McDonald, but I think that's mostly gone now because I've grown up, so yeah. So number three is Fire in the Hole slash Flooded Mine. Now I know this is a little bit of cheating because I'm putting two attractions in here, but I want to talk about them both because we've had Silver City passes our whole lives with our family. I remember we started going when I was like very young and I really did like most of it. But when we rode Flooded Mine or Fire in the Hole, I was terrified. So the main one I want to talk about is Flooded Mine because Flooded Mine is like you could still like kind of bring like toddlers and stuff on there so you're not if you're not big enough for fire in the hole yet but i remember going on flood and mine for the first time and those animatronics scared the crap out of me like i was horrified because and i don't really blame my previous self because even back then i knew those animatronics were very in the uncanny valley they haven't been updated in years even back then that's also one thing i want to say is that even now i still get a little bit creeped out by those animatronics which no animatronics basically don't creep me out anymore except a couple exceptions and maybe those because they're kind of they're human but they just don't look right and that's why i mentioned in i think it was the sodar city ranking attractions video where I mentioned that Flooded Mine needs to be updated. That's one reason why, it's because the animatronics look really bad now. That terrified me. And then when I was a little bit older and I was able to go on roller coasters and stuff like that, my first roller coaster was Thunderation. And that was like my first like big step up to become a coaster rider like I am today. And I remember going on Fire in the Hole for the first time. And I feel like the reason why I was terrified of it is because it was ma the majority of it, it's a dark ride. So, that's probably one of the reasons why I was terrified of it because you could barely see anything and I was a 
not a big fan of the dark. I hated it. And even like the animatronics, which there are not very many like moving animatronics in Fire in the Hole. Like even now, I still think they're very uncanny, kind of like Flood of Mine. Like I said earlier, I completely understand Past Zion for not liking them. I was mainly scared of Flood of Mine though, because uh, Flood of Mine, I was a little bit younger, but at least with uh, Fire in the Hole, I could maybe close my eyes when those segments came. But yeah, so that's number three. Number four is Star Wars Episode Six: Return of the Jedi, The Rancor. So I remember when my parents first showed me the Star Wars movies and I loved most of them. I wasn't really terrified of that many of the scenes, uh, but there was one scene that really creeped me out. So it's when Luke gets trapped in with the Rancor in Jabba's palace. Actually, to be fair, like I was already scared of it before because they had it kind of like in like hidden like in the very beginning but that poor girl got eaten by rancor so they kind of kept it off screen and that's one thing that i f thought was very terrifying is that you didn't see it until luke was there when luke and the rancor were fighting like that was really scary too because you see the reveal the cage like going up and then seeing the Rinker's face. And I was horrified of it. I remember every time the scene would go on, I wanted to cover my eyes and I usually did. But it's weird because like, I grew up with the special editions, like the horrible CGI edits that George Lucas made with the original movies. Because it's so weird because they have like this whole like Jedi rocks thing that replaced Lapte Neck. And it's like so happy and all that. And then all of a sudden, this girl gets eaten by the rancor. It's just like, it's so off-putting with that new CGI. And that's one reason why I think I was scared of it because it just came out of nowhere. Yeah, that's pretty strange. And I was really scared of the rancor, but I did kind of feel bad for it when it got killed by the actual like door itself. So yeah. Number five is a wee fed tightrope walk. So I used to be a big fan of the Wii when I was younger. That was probably my childhood system because I know other people had like the PS3 or the Xbox 360 and I was more of a fan of the Wii, but when we got the Wii Fit game or the Wii Fit channel that we had, uh, there was this one game called the Tightrope Walk and I absolutely hated it because my imagination was putting myself in this guy's position to walk across to the other building. If I played it now, it probably wouldn't be as intense because I know it's just a video game, but back then my imagination would tell me, this is real, you might fall off. So it's just, that's kind of a shorter one because I absolutely hated this one. But yeah, that's number five. Number six is the Temple of Doom. So I remember seeing Raiders of the Lost Ark when I was like eight and I didn't think it was that bad, but I didn't really see some of the graphic scenes because my parents covered my eyes for the most of it. The Temple of Doom was like full, like I saw everything. And don't be fooled by the PG rating on these movies because especially Raiders of the Lost Ark and Temple of Doom because the rating system was a lot more relaxed back then so they could get away with a lot more stuff. But even those movies were boundary pushing because I actually heard somewhere that they didn't even know where to place Temple of Doom when it came out with the rating system. But when I saw Temple of Doom, I was horrified of it. And for good reason, it has voodoo dolls, this guy gets his heart taken out. I'm not gonna show this clip because it's just, it's too violent and I don't want that to be on my YouTube channel. Every time I see Temple of Doom and how people talk about it, I'm like, how the heck did I think this was a good idea to watch it? Because I remember my mom, when, after we saw Verse of the Lost Ark, she told my dad, don't let him watch Temple of Doom until he's much older. And dad didn't listen. And I ended up watching it, it was like 10 years old. And I was horrified of it. Like there's so many gruesome scenes and I'm not a big fan of Temple of Doom in general because it's just kind of like dark just for being dark. Like with Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade and in some extent to Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I mean there's still some dark moments but still lighthearted a little bit. Temple of Doom is just dark, like so much darkness and I still really don't like it that much now because it's just so dark and not really much happens except for it being dark and there's not really much adventure to it. But yeah, so number six is Temple of Doom because I was terrified of it. Number seven is a Chef Boyardee monster ad. So I don't know how many people saw this ad, but I remember seeing this in like, a, I don't know if it was PBS Kids or like Nickelodeon or one of those, but there was this one ad where this kid, because he can't get Chef Boyardee, he turns into this big monster wolf thing 
And I'll have to show a clip of it. He turns into this big monster and then he finds the Chef Boyardee. And I remember the laugh. Like that laugh haunted me. Boyardee. <laughs> I couldn't be the only one that thought this was terrifying. Even though it was like 30 seconds long, it was just like absolutely terrifying to me. This big wolf thing and how they transformed this boy into the werewolf. Every time that ad would come on, I would hide away from the couch because I absolutely hated this ad. So, but yeah, that's number seven. Number eight is Chuck E. Cheese. So I am a big fan somewhat of Chuck E. Cheese's now because of the history and stuff like that. But the main reason why I was scared of Chuck E. Cheese is because of the costume. Now, for surprisingly, I wasn't that much of scared of the animatronics because the animatronics were a lot more widespread back then, but then recently they started to close them down. The main reason why I was scared of Chuck E. Cheese is because of the guy in the costume. And it was just like so like terrifying that this big mouse would be walking around the restaurant and I would avoid him as much as I could. That's actually one thing that I actually do like that Chuck E. Cheese has done recently, the company. While I absolutely hate the redesign, I've seen more kids be able to approach Chuck E. Cheese without being terrified of him. Even though the Chuck E. Cheese mascot looks like a ripoff of Mickey Mouse. Yeah, so I was terrified of him back then. But I do like the older mascot look better, but it does look a little bit better with the newer costume, like, in real life. Not with, like, the ads, though, and stuff like that. I absolutely hate that design. But yeah, so that's number eight, is that Chuck E. Cheese's the costume scared me, not the animatronics, but the costume was terrifying, so. Number nine is FNAF 3 Rare Screen. So, this is also a very obscure thing, because I remember getting into Five Nights at Freddy's when I was, like, like 11 or 12 because my mom didn't let me play it until i was 12 years old like i was around for the big like hype of fnaf like everyone was talking about it every week on youtube it was just insane but uh when fnaf 3 came out and i saw this youtube video of the rare screens that could appear when you launch the game and this is a little bit graphic but i will show this so boo <laughs> Yeah, that would show up possibly if you could launch the game. Now it's very rare, like not very many documentation has happened with that. I would be scared of more of getting that screen instead of playing the game. And I don't like FNAF 3 that much anyway. Even back then I didn't really like the, it that much. But that screen, like if it popped up on my computer, like I would be horrified. But luckily it never did because this is so rare to get. Because I heard people talk about the Five Nights at Freddy's movie recently and it's finally coming out, I think. But I want it to be good because even though I'm not much of a Five Nights at Freddy's fan nowadays, I hope that it'll be good and it'll be worth the wait. So yeah, that's number nine. Number 10 is Chucky. Screw this guy, okay? Chucky. That guy has been in so many of my nightmares, and I know a lot of people were scared of him, but I discovered him when I was like nine years old, which is way too young to see this killer doll, like, go around killing people. Like, it's way too much that, because I saw some of my old notebooks that I would make of horror characters or like stuff like that when I was writing in school, and Chucky was in there, and I was like, how the crap did I know about this when I was nine years old? And it was YouTube, specifically, it was actually a video that I saw on Watch Mojo, yep, way back then. And that's when I first heard of Chucky. And I kind of looked uh, looked more into it. Yeah, I was like nine years old at this time and I absolutely was scared of him. But it's weird because I couldn't stop watching clips of him, but I was still terrified. So like so many nightmares I've had for up until this point, like would be Chucky because that was my biggest fear for a while. Like I absolutely hated Chucky, but I still kind of do. I still think he's a big piece of crap, but I feel like it's not as scary now because I've grown and older and I could just kick him. Like these weird people in the movies don't think that. But yeah, so that's number 10. Chucky was terrifying. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This video might be edited into more clips because I had to say a lot of stuff and I've repeated a lot of stuff and I had to do more recordings multiple times. So I'm sorry if it feels a little bit disjointed. But yeah, so thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.